Hi everyone, welcome back to the landscaping business. I'm heading out the door just before 8.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful but cold day here. It's about 45 degrees and I don't think it's going to get much warmer here. But let's hop in the GMC AT4. Let's get over to the shop since we're going to be doing a few things. Like always guys, there's a full mods that's linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Over the last few days guys we've moved into a brand new shop here I want to give you guys an update on that but we are going to be making a few purchases here because as many of you guys do know I did sell some machines here we need to buy some to replace it and that is going to be the focus here but it's just super exciting time with the company here just trying to get everything ready to go uh, because I'm still going to try to do some jobs because it seems like it's still warm enough to get some work done. My commute over to the shop is about 10 minutes here, which is actually really uh, nice here. It's nice not to be driving half hour plus, and that's one of the benefits of being the owner here. But look at this, guys. So we got everything here. I mean, we got all the zero turns. We got everything. I mean, look at this. The shop is definitely uh, starting to get filled up here and all of the gear over there. Now, one thing we actually have to do, uh, why don't we get the garage opened is I need to unload this uh, truck here. We have a few compactors that need to be unloaded here. They're going to be a super heavy, but we'll put it on the ground here. And then uh, since it is just gravel, we'll just kind of slide them around. And for now, we'll just put them over here. See a little bit more. Let's see here. This is going to be super heavy. We'll put it right on the ground. Perfect. And we'll keep on going with this here. But I really do appreciate your feedback here on uh, the first video with this new uh, shop here. Super exciting. And we still have a lot more things to do here. But we actually need to take one of the trucks here. Why don't we take the Cummins and uh, we need to pick up the utility trailer because we're heading to Tractor Supply. All right, guys, we're going to be taking this trailer here. This is an 18-foot bumper pull. This is one of my first trailers that I actually purchased with the company here, but this has seen a lot of wear and tear. Some of these boards need to be replaced, and we did end up bending the frame in a few areas by overloading it here. So I'm actually going to be trading that in for a brand-new trailer that is uh, 20 feet, so we get an extra 2 feet, which is going to work out for attachments and things. But I think that is just going to be uh, the way to go here for us. It's going to be a little bit safer and uh, I think it's just time to replace it. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below here. Now, many of you did give me some good ideas for this map, uh, so I'll have to take a look at those here, and I plan to do a lot, a lot of videos here with it, but we are just now getting over to Tractor Supply, and let's see, I know they don't have too many trailers in stock here. Oh, that is actually something I want to look at there, but why don't we get parked up next to it? I believe this was the trailer. I already ordered it online. All right, guys, let's take a look at the new trailer here. Take a look at that here. So we have a little bit of a stronger axle, which is awesome here. You guys can see it's just a little bit longer, and we do have ramps here. These are a little bit of a wider ramp, which I'm really a big fan of, and it's going to be helping us out as well. But you guys can see this thing looks awesome. I really do like the brand new plywood, and you guys can see the jack is a little bit more heavy duty, which is going to be perfect here. That's one thing I noticed about the other one. That was a really neat purchase we have here. But what do we have over here? Snow Wolf Plows. Let's see, for sale, $500 discount. You know what, guys? I'm going to buy both of these. I've been looking for some new plows for the skid loaders. So I'm going to go pay for these. Let's get them loaded up. All right, let's put a few tie-down straps on these here. We just made it fit. Probably should have uh, come back here for a second trailer load here. But wow, that is super exciting here. Now, Snow Wolf, guys, is a pretty well-known brand for snow plows. 
and it's going to work out uh, quite well here for us. And having uh, two of these uh, pushers is really going to be uh, helpful with the wings on them that uh, can turn from a regular straight blade into an extra few feet uh, to even a box plow at times. This is going to be super helpful here for us. But now, now that that took some time, I am running a little bit late since we have to head over to the equipment dealer. So let's get on back here to the shop and we got to get a truck and trailer and run over there to pick up a big machine. We're back at the shop, but we're going to have to wait for those here. So why don't we take the GMC Dually? We need a big truck and we'll take the 35 foot trailer. As many of you guys know, I said it earlier in today's video that I actually sold one of our excavators, which was uh, the CAT. It was our second biggest excavator, and that was because I've had my eyes on a model and a brand for quite some time, and I decided to make the purchase, and uh, this is the perfect time. We're recently selling that, so we are heading over to the equipment dealer. They're just on the outskirts of town here because we're going to be picking up a Komatsu excavator. We're here at the local case dealership, which actually does sell Komatsu here. And oh, look at that, guys. It's right out front for us. This is super exciting here. Now, this is, like I mentioned, the second biggest excavator we're going to be owning here. Take a look at this. Wow, this thing is sweet here. So, you guys, can see, let's go around here just to show you. It's the Komatsu PC-138 US here. I decided to go with rubber tracks. The other thing was I wanted a thumb on the front here, but I'm going to go inside talk with a salesman get the keys but the paperwork is all done here and I already paid for it so it shouldn't be too long all right I got the keys here why don't we hop on in take a quick look here so I did get one beacon light up top there now the other thing guys this cab is one of the nicest cabs I've seen for an excavator here which is pretty awesome here you guys can see I mean this fully functions I'm super excited. Hopefully we could uh, get a job or two with this uh, sometime this week, early next week, and put it to work here. I really want to see how this thing can do here. But hey, why don't we get it loaded up on the uh, truck and we'll take a closer look at it back at the shop. All right, let's just put a few tie down straps on it. But one thing, guys, I'm gonna have to look for a new trailer because small ramps like this with an excavator, guys, is way too far from my comfort zone here. I just feel like we're gonna slide off those in the rubber tracks. Doesn't really help with that here, but we're all good to go. Uh, let's head on back here to the shop. I wanna do a full walk around once we get inside because it looks like it's getting windy and it's super chilly out. It, it dropped 10 degrees from this morning and it's only about 35 now. Having these larger machines, guys, is a really good for business, but we do need bigger trucks, and having a dually like this is just the way to go here, and I will say they're a lot more stable uh, compared to just a single rear wheel uh, pickup truck here, which is definitely a good thing because we, we want to make sure we're uh, being safe as we are tone going down uh, the road here. So that's a good thing. But one thing, guys, like I mentioned, I really want to get the shop door opened up here. Now that the, sh the uh, shop is heated, uh, that is a big bonus that we previously have not yet had here. But one thing, guys, you guys uh, may be noticing, I am working out the lag with the game. I'm thinking it might be a mod or two. So hopefully I can get that little bit worked out here. But let's uh, take a look at this closer. So this, like I mentioned, guys, is going to be perfect or what we're going to be doing uh, with landscaping jobs. All right, right about there should be good here. So we'll just get this extended. I'll have to watch a seal in. That wouldn't be too good uh, to damage that here. But really quickly, like I mentioned, guys, I did go with the thumb, a hydraulic thumb, which is good. I do have a few buckets. They interchange with some of our other skid sears here. I just got the standard straight blade, the rubber tracks, 
and uh, you guys can see this thing looks sweet super exciting and it does have the zero turn which means it does not overhang uh which is going to be perfect for those tight areas but guys i'm going to get going to go back to the home office to do some paperwork so hope you guys enjoyed today's video until next time thanks for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more